form. Build a probe. Give the probe the ability to replicate itself. Start these probes out from your home planet and at every, say every half AU or something, the probe replicates so that the volume of probes stays constant as the volume of space increases. If you're carrying out an exhaustive search of the galaxy for life, it's very hard to imagine a civilization that could visit every star and monitor every star over long periods of time. A much more efficient strategy would be the phone home strategy. You send, essentially, a credit card which says if you get this message call the enclosed toll-free number and immediately report your location we will come at that point that's I think what's going on human history is the effort to phone home human history is the effort to decode a message in the terrestrial environment of this planet that shamans and dreamers and mystics and let's throw in a few schizophrenics and out and out screwballs have been accessing for millennia and it's not new it's very very old and uh, it cannot be without significance that the Mayan civilization which used these mushrooms became obsessed with 2012 AD I, who am absolutely phobic of obsessions in all forms, am myself obsessed by December 21st, 2012 AD. That's the bottom line of the barcode. And my, my notion of what's going on in the informational phase space of contemporary existence is that we are under the influence of a kind of attractor this is this thing I mentioned which seized hold of us as a higher animal and steered us toward language ritual religion the calculus so forth and so on uh, this attractor is literally sucking the world of three-dimensional space and time into itself this is what history is History is biological time turning into some other kind of time. History is speeding up as we approach the omega point. And here is a granted idiotic but nevertheless serviceable metaphor for how this thing at the end of time works and why we are driven so nutty by things like flying saucers. The transcendental attractor at the end of the historical process, think of it like a, one of those mirrored bar balls that hang in a disco that catch the light and put scintillations on the walls as it spins around. As we approach the transcendental object at the end of time, the reflections, the precursive anticipations what Wordsworth called the intimations of immortality grow ever stronger. The world is becoming more and more irrational, more and more fraught with anomaly. Uh, you know, not only flying saucers, but Bigfoot and the crop circles, which are quite new as a wrinkle. There will be more and more of this stuff as we approach the moment of concrescence. And people in the past, Christ, Buddha, you name them, these are people who literally stood in a correct geometrical relationship to the transcendental object at the end of time. But it was just dumb luck, that's all. They were not superior people. I'm sure that if you could enter into the mind of Christ as he went around Galilee performing his miracles, the main thing which preoccupied his inner circumlocution was the question, why me? You know, what's happening? Why am I compelled to do and say these things? 
Well, the, the, the uh, answer is you've got eschatological fever. You've been infected by a retrovirus that operates not in space, but in time. And to the degree that one can clear themselves of the momentum of past presupposition, the transcendental object at the end of time actually comes into view. Plato said time is the moving image of eternity. The way I think of shamanism and psychedelic voyaging is that it is transdimensional travel, literally, not in some, not, not in the undefined way that you often hear it used, but in the mathematical sense. A shaman and a psychedelic person and a UFO contactee is someone who has seen the end. They simply didn't know what they were looking at because who knows what the end looks like. The, the world of historical possibility concresses into a mercurial hologrammatic disk, part bios, part machine, part syntax, part mind. The categories dissolve. The world is not what it appears to be. I was very interested in, uh, I, I, I was very interested in coming to this thing and studying the psychology of the group and it was very fascinating to me that both of the speakers where I listened to the whole thing were very concerned to refute the psychological explanation which I gather is the Antichrist around here uh, and as I understand it somebody said to me the first thing they said to me I thought my god these people are on and he said I want you to know that this Jungian thing is bullshit he said okay uh, that's fine um, however this is like beating a dead horse has the news from quantum physics not reached the UFO community? Is it not now thoroughly assimilated that an observer is necessary for reality to exist at all? It's all psychological. There's no distinction. And so these people who have such enthusiasm for beryllium ships from Arturus or wherever should be informed, you know. Same, same. That's important news. It is now, and where is it coming from? Let's, let's not rush past this here. <laughs> Physics has always been the paradigmatic science. All sciences have physics envy. Why is that? Because it's not unlikely in a physics experiment to be able to predict an experimental result to three decimal points of accuracy. That's science. You don't get that in sociology. You don't get that in psychology. You don't even get that in biology. And, and physics is the most mathematical of all the sciences. So around the towering edifice of physics, the more frightened and uncertain of the sciences had gathered near her skirts. Well, so now what is physics telling us? Saying, uh, folks, um, hold your horses here. It turns out the cheerful world of uh, billiard ball-like atoms w winging their way through Newtonian space is in for serious revision. It turns out that these particles aren't even particles. They're waves. Well, no, not exactly. They're both. Well, what I actually meant to say was, and you discover the babble of mad people, Science has collapsed. Its core has given way to contradiction. The